Austin just won a big contest, and the prize could help drastically with the city's climate action plan. Today, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, the former mayor of New York City, announcing Austin will be part of his American Cities Climate Challenge. He'll provide the money and help needed for city leaders to make innovative changes. Texans Jacqueline Powell is live to explain how Austin leaders' lofty goals for climate action landed this win for the city. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Sydney, Robert. The city has two major goals when it comes to the carbon emissions that are coming from both our cars and our buildings. By next year, the goal is for all city vehicles and facilities to be carbon neutral, meaning that they only use what they can offset. And then by 2050, the goal is for all of Austin to be net zero when it comes to greenhouse gases. So that included... Some Austinites uh, are way ahead of it. Doing things like replacing all the light bulbs with LEDs and retrofitting the walls to have insulation. Blown. Already helping the city work toward its sustainability goals. Uh, what we've got here is a 3,000 kilowatt uh, solar array that was... Take uh, Kyle DeHaas's net zero house. So that it does three things. It provides power, it provides shade, and then also we built in some rainwater collection. And when so he's not here... Rain. What I like to do is roll around town in an electric motorcycle. Powered the cool by the house, of course. Is, so we're talking about a solar powered motorcycle. Daha says he's happy to know his city shares his vision for a greener Austin. But there's only so much that they can do. We also have to do our part proactively. The hope is with the help of an acceleration program funded by Michael Bloomberg himself. These are ambitious plans, but I know uh, Mayor Adler and his team are determined to see them through. The city will now have the resources to incentivize eco-friendly cars, homes, workplaces and lifestyles. Bloomberg's program will offer the city up to two and a half million dollars worth of staff support, technical help, expertise and possible grants. Over the next two years, Austin is going to accelerate our carbon reduction efforts. Mayor Adler says the city will get creative with its solutions, like fixing some of Austin's parking issues, for example, so drivers don't waste as many fumes circling around downtown. DeHaas says whether on the road or at home, he's excited for Austinites to see the change he has. And You know, I just smile every time I get my utility bill, and I, I look back on it and say, yeah, it was worth it, every bit of it. And that was our Jacqueline Powell reporting. Austin wasn't the only Texas city that won the climate challenge. San Antonio was also named. This is not the first grant the city has gotten from Bloomberg. In 2017, Austin got one and a half million dollars for its Office of Innovation. Mayor Adler says that money is helping the city tackle its homeless challenge. And last fall, the New York billionaire gave money to 26 different cultural arts, music groups and museums. And in October, Bloomberg awarded Georgetown $1 million to help develop a virtual power plant. It was one of nine cities recognized. The city applied in March to the Bloomberg Philanthropies U.S. Mayor's Challenge. We reached out to the city to see how the project was going, and leaders told us they're still working on a timeline, but say that money will go towards solar panels, batteries, and general energy locally. They're still working out the details.